Hey guys, it's Frizzo here and in this video I will be showing you how you can create a database and a table in phpMyAdmin. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first is to create a database. Now there are two different ways to do that. The first way is you could just come up to the top here and click new and then you could type in your database name and then just hit create. The second way is if you go up to this SQL tab at the top here and we could type in some SQL to create a database. So uh, if we just do create database and then if we give it a name, so let's just say website DB, uh, there we go. And then what we can do is just hit go down at the bottom here and we should see at the side of the, uh, where all the databases are, the website DB should be added. So if we hit go, we can see that my SQL returned an empty result. So that was good and it has created the website DB. And so if we click on that, then we will see that there are no tables right now in the database. So what we can do to create a table is you could either click on this create table and give it a name and then press go, or otherwise you could uh, use some SQL again. So what we're gonna do is in fact use the SQL. So we're gonna do create again and then table this time. And then what we will call the table is uh, users. And then we will open up a set of brackets. And what we will type in here is, is all of the fields that we want in our table. So let's just say if we're going to create a table of users, uh, just say for a website, what we're doing is user ID. And what this could be is an int, so an integer. And then what we want is this for this to be auto incremented. So uh, that will be for each new user then the it will have like it will go it will count upwards so it will start one and then go up for you know each uh, new user which is added so we want this to be not now because we don't want you know we don't want someone to not have a user id so we're going to do not now and then also what we want at the end here is we want to make this a primary key because we want this to be unique to each user because you know it's a user id it's meant to uniquely identify each user so we're going to do a comma here and then we're going to type in the next field. So let's do username and we want this to be a varchar because that is a string and we want this to have a max size of about 20 and this should be not null as well because we don't want someone without a username. And then we also want a password and that is going to be, we'll just make that the same as uh, the username. So that can be a varchar as well and not now. And then what else do we want? We also want, let's add an email. Yep, let's add an email. Uh, that will be a varchar as well. And we'll set that to size 50 because some people have long emails. Uh, and then also we could add a sign up date. So, hmm. And that should be a date time. <clears throat> oh, messing it up. There we go. And we want that to be not null as well. And also, um, I think I think actually that's us. So that is everything in the SQL query. And so if we hit go, this should create the table and um create all of your different uh, fields. So if we press go. As you can see, my SQL returned an empty result set, which is good. That means that there was no errors. And you can see the time it took and also all of the SQL code that you typed in. And so now if we look at the side here under the database, we now have the users table. So if we click on that, then it will show us if we go to structure, then it will show us the table. We've got user ID and we've got a key beside it. And that shows us that it's the primary key. And we've also got auto in auto increment, and then we've also got the um no against not now, um, okay, and so that is good, and um, now there's also different options you can come up and like you could search your database if you had different um if you had fields in it. Right now we don't have any uh, values in it, so uh you know if you search nothing would come up. Because if you go into structure, then you can see that we have actually have no data in the table right now. Okay, so now to insert data into our users table. Now you could click at the top on this insert tab here, 
and type in the values that you want here or you could use SQL which I will use again. So what we want to do is delete what's already in the tab here and then we're just going to write insert into and then the table, table name which is users and then we are just going to put brackets and then in these brackets we want to put in the fields and remember that user ID is uh, auto increment so uh, that will be incremented for us so we do not need to supply a value for that so what we want to do is type in the other fields so username uh, user I oh know password email and then the sign up date and then we want to do values because these are the values we're going to insert and what we want to do is for the username let's type in someone's name so I don't know Jake Smith and then what we want to do is then type in the passwords so I'm just going to be a password one two three and then the email let's do that Jake oh, Jack Jake Smith at gmail.com and then for the sign up date this is a date time uh, variable so the way that that is laid out is you do the year first then you do a dash then you do the month and then you do the day and then you do a space and then after that you do the hour so we'll do 1639 for the minutes and then the second so we we'll do just do like 02 or 04 um, and then that should be us so if we then um, put the semicolon after that and then we'll also add we'll do in fact we'll just copy this and then right below the other right below that we'll do another insert statement and we will add another uh, we'll add someone else in here so let's just say Mike I don't know Mike White and then he will have a different password so I don't know I'll just do a bunch of random letters and then also he will have a different email uh, we'll do an outlook for him and then a different sign up date so let's just say this doesn't really matter but uh, I'll just change the values just to show you that how we have two different people here so this will insert two users into our database with these values here um, and then one of them should have a user ID in fact the uh, Jake Smith he should have the user ID 1 and then Mike White should have a user ID 2 so I'm just going to click go and this will run the SQL so if I hit go then they both were inserted into the table so now if we go back into structure and then we go and select all of the uh, different fields here and then select browse then you can see in our table that uh, yeah we've got the user id 5 of jake smith and then it's everything that we entered and then it incremented to 6 and then put in mike white's so yeah that is how you insert into a table okay so finally if you want to delete the table and the database uh, if you just go to the SQL tab up here and then you can do drop and then table and then the table name so the table name is users and then we're going to do a semicolon and then if you just press go down here again then that will run the SQL and it says do you really want to execute drop table users that's because we will be deleting data and so it just wants to make sure that you want to do that so we're going to click OK and as you can see uh, in the side panel here the table has been deleted so now if we want to delete the whole database uh, we will just go to the database and then select the SQL tab and then what we can do is drop again and then instead of doing table this time we will type in database and then type in the database name which is web site DB and then semicolon and then if we press go again then it runs the SQL and as you can see in the side tab the website DB has been removed. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you learned something 
about how to use PHP Madmin. If you could leave a like on the video, that would help a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. So, bye-bye. <laughs>